Good morning. <laughs> I got all three of them talking to me. Come on. Come on, Tux. Come up here, buddy. Come on, Tux. Come on, Morris. This is the one for up here. There you go. Hi. Good morning. Here, Tux. I can move this one to this side. Morris doesn't really care. Hi. Good boys. Come on, Marty. Come on, Mart. I don't see Stripey right this minute, but he'll come back around. There he comes. He can't be far. And he was in the house a little bit ago. Hi, bud. Hi. So he's just waiting for you, Mom, in a safe place. Well, these guys have settled down for the day. I've been out here about an hour. Maybe you can tell that over here I um, cut back all the perennial border and uh, down to the asphalt and on this side some of the ferns that were dying too and uh, trimmed back both of those uh, hydrangeas. I probably trimmed that piece of Nandina although it won't be as heavy when the berries aren't on it. We'll see. That's a consideration but not today. It looks too pretty with the berries. And uh, yeah that's that was an hour. <laughs> Um, I didn't manage not to get a blister or hurt my hand with those loppers. They're very sharp now. But I did manage to really cut my left pinky finger with them. I was just holding the... I was just holding what I was cutting. And as I went to move over there, I didn't snip my finger. I just bumped my finger on the way to where I wanted to cut. And it wasn't a good thing. I had to stop, go inside, get Don to put... A band-aid on it and uh, unfortunately the band-aids needs to be replaced but I'm trying to get at least an hour out here a morning now through the end of the month doing what I need to be doing to make keep things looking nice and um, I already know the next two days worth of time that I have which is probably Monday and Wednesday where I will uh, do a little more trimming gorgeous blue sky I didn't uh, get to walk into the front yard this morning. I was too busy doing stuff in the backyard. <laughs> well, there's no perennial border out there. Only thing to really trim is the butterfly bush. And with the flowers on it right now, I just am not totally motivated to walk down there yet. Hi, Gray. Hi, hi. How are you? You good girl? Good girl. Yeah, it's my band-aid. She smells my boo-boo. Sorry, sweetie. Sorry, sweetie. And so I'll bandage back up and thankfully I think it stopped bleeding now. I took a chunk out of it pretty good. It's not a get stitches kind of a chunk. It's a, you know, chunk, chunk. It's not good. <laughs> There's a uh, blue S and a midnight silver metallic Y. And then of course Jules. We're going to walk the trail today. They're not working on Sunday. And now that we know that the ho the hole, <clears throat> excuse me, not the hose, the hole is closed, we can walk there. And grab. we're not going to grab all the trash, but we are going to grab the trash that we pass. Well, another thing is it hasn't rained, so it's bone dry. I don't think it would be good for us to walk up through there after a rain because it's going to be a mud muddy rain. mess. I think that's a dog toy. They had the ha haunted Halloween. If it is a dog toy, let's leave it. Uh, they had the, yeah. They had the Halloween event here last night. But they they usually have a SWAT team and they clean up pretty good after that. What I was trying to say is we aren't going to walk the whole street today. We're just going to pick up trash on the part of the street that we'll walk to get to the other park like we used to do every day. We didn't have any problem walking the trail, except that we could have used another trash bag. Um, 
we were talking to the gentleman that's up there walking in front of us most of the way so I didn't film anything but it, it looked about the same as it did last week we're gonna do the pogo route one time and then head back down the trail Don was hoping we were all good yeah I'm just hoping all good <laughs> Well, that trail now, when we hadn't been walking it, it's set an incline with the yeah. weight vest on. It's definitely, yeah, it's so definitely. Bend over enough to pick up trash. There was plenty, plenty of squats there. <laughs> yeah, Don's better about bending carefully. I just well, lean forward and grab, but Don squats and gets some leg exercises going. Yeah, Protect well, his back and get more exercise. Yesterday, I estimated I did over 150 squats. I right. can tell you I was tired towards the end of that. Yeah, Don said he did 150 squats at least yesterday. I, My knees bother me so much I can't do that. Even if my stamina would be okay with it, my knees would not be. There's some sort of a gathering over there. Quite a few older people. It's hard to get up here to the track. There were so many vehicles over there. Don's doing some maintenance on the door lock. I've got uh, midnight and nighttime in the purple room. After we got back, I spent about 45 more minutes trimming up stuff. Um, you know, more to do. But all around the chair here and in front of the window there's the big pile of stuff to haul off i don't care if don hauls it off today or not i got a little bit to do around the side down that way and uh there's more to do as you walk into the front yard and in the lower daylily planter bed so that's probably one or two more outings and then um here more along the walkway but uh, 45 more minutes is good. I got other things I need to move on to now. I sure did enjoy being out here in the pretty weather, though. <laughs> He's there behind the glare. So this is our uh, Slag Wi-Fi smart lock. Those buttons, the red, oh, oh, excuse me, the lock and unlock button, and the thing in the center is the LED. It will, Right, lights up red or green based on if it's locking or unlocking um, those buttons are not working well this is the first time I've had to fool with those I've cleaned the keypad before but uh, they give you a little notches little holes here to let you get on those tabs to open this up so I'm gonna open it up and clean the contacts uh, they're capacitive uh, you know just wipe them off with alcohol or something so you can see they're pretty gunked up I mean uh, this is before I cleaned them, so we'll see now after. Okay, that's a little bit of alcohol. You can even see the texture on these things now. Uh, as you can see, quite a bit of that uh, come off. That's just paper towel and a um, um, little alcohol in there. We put it back together, and fingers crossed that took care of it. Okay, it seems to be working pretty good. Just simple press and the door locks and unlocks now i have to say it gave me a little bit of a scare when i put it back together and put it in here the first time it didn't work and i went back and um, took it apart and put it back and the problem was the little battery box is a little uh, sloppy and so uh, the little connection the tips of the battery the positive tip of the battery there's a kind of like a piece of plastic that only allows the positive side to go into you can't put the batteries in backwards let me just say it that way and that alignment was off just a little bit so the batteries uh, one of the batteries wasn't actually uh, connecting I mean I'm, I like the design I've seen it before it's just that uh, I wasn't uh, paying a lot of attention when I was putting the batteries back in there and it didn't it didn't um, make a good contact on that one positive uh, uh, terminal the alignment wasn't quite right.